Modern air travel, so much goes on behind the scenes before each and every plane takes to the skies. But there's one part of your flight you probably have never given much thought to, beyond the options of the menu card. That is until today. Hey guys, it's the Plane Jockeys. Oh yeah, we're here at Imperial Hill and right below us is the LSG Sky Chefs building. Well, today we're taking you on a tour. Oh yeah, let's go see what's cooking. We got the chance to get an up close look at this massive operation. And as we learned, the teamwork leading to the meal on your fold down tray is truly impressive. This is one of the largest catering kitchens in the country. We have about 650 employees here. We serve all of Southern California out of this kitchen. San Diego, Santa Ana, Ontario, Burbank, many airports in the area, of course LAX. We provide food for something like 200 flights per day out of this kitchen. We serve all sorts of different types of airlines and different types of aircraft, including, as you can see right here, this is one of our A380 trucks. And speaking of that A380 truck, we had the rare opportunity to ride along onto the tarmac to witness up close the complex process of loading a massive passenger jet with food and beverages. More on that in just a bit. But first, we start where the whole process begins, in the kitchen. We always open here, so we make food 24 hours a day. We cater aircraft 24 hours a day. Whenever there's a flight, we take food to that flight. It is a very busy place, yeah. Sky Chefs takes food safety and cleanliness very seriously. So before we go inside, we donned all the appropriate attire. How do I look? <laughs> is it backwards? So you put your head through the bottom hole? Oh. <laughs> oh, so, start oh. over. Okay. Good, good. All right. Oh. Woo. Jacket. Under the nose? Okay, under the nose. Good? I'm good? All right, I guess I'm good. Now it was time to see the kitchen in action. This is our main receiving area. We get all our fresh food from here. We have our dry store here, and then our produce cooler that side. All the food that you guys get comes through these doors, huh? Yes, through these doors. Produce, we get two deliveries a day. Dry goods, it's once or twice a week. So the dry store area usually holds things for like cooking, like flour, um, rice, and then over here we have our pan rack. The shelf life on these items are just much longer. Some items we use several bags a day and some might sit for like a week or two. It really depends on the airlines. The airlines are the ones that come up with the menu and then we just built a spec. So this is where it all begins, huh? Yeah, this is where it all starts now. Next up we have our receiving cooler. So this is where all of the cool items that we receive from our external warehouse come in. Dairy products, salad dressings, a variety of different items. There's some already like pre-cut vegetables and whatnot that is stored in this cooler specifically. We have herbs, we have grapes, some miscellaneous peppers, Brussels sprouts, everything that we use in our day-to-day -day operations. Our materials department is in charge of purchasing 3,000 pounds of items that come in every single day to our facility. And as part of Sky Chef's strict food preparation standards, everything gets a thorough cleaning. Over here, we have our produce wash station. This is where all the produce funnels out from the cooler into here. Every single item that goes out to hot food or cold food will be washed and then sent out for prep. From there, we head into where the food prep magic happens. They do all of their prepping at different stations. We have sides to entrees, proteins, vegetables. About 95% of the food we provide to airlines is made right here in this kitchen. We have entire wraps dedicated for different airlines and the food items that they require for their set menu for the month. Each airline has very specific requirements for their menu items. 
So the food platers follow detailed guidelines posted at every station. Here they're plating shrimp. So it looks like they're plating three shrimp and then they have a certain amount of rice that they're to put on the plate and also a specific layout. Three shrimp diagonally across on top of the rice. It's constantly moving. There's never a second that there aren't people running back and forth, grabbing carts to take out in flights, grabbing food items to prepare an emergency tray. It's constant all the time. So here we have the final hold cooler, and this is where all the carts and trays come to live until they're brought out to dispatch, so the ramp area to be then put onto the trucks and taken out to the planes. There are employees who do final checks, so they'll pull out trays, sure, everything's there from salt and pepper shakers to the menu item, knives, forks, all that, and then off to the airplanes they go. But before any of the food can head out to the plane, it must go through strict security measures out in the ramp area. This is where all of the carts come out. They're checked by an outside security source to make sure everything is safe. They're checked, loaded onto the truck, and then the truck is sealed, and then will be taken out onto the tarmac. Just as you as a passenger have to go through security to get on the plane, so does the food. Just like keeping air traffic safe and secure is critically important, so is your internet. In a world where online hackers and thieves are out to steal your identity or drain your bank account, choosing to protect you and your loved ones from these threats is one of the most important decisions you can make. And the award-winning Surfshark VPN is here to provide you with the best defense. Surfshark VPN provides data encryption no matter where you are, giving you a secure connection whether you're at home or using the Wi-Fi at your local coffee shop. Keeping your browser activity, identity, and location as it should be private, Surfshark VPN is truly a cyber criminal's worst enemy. Want to be even more vigilant? Upgrade to the Surfshark One package and include antivirus malware protection, included private web searches and no ads and no tracking, and alerts for potential personal data leaks. And right now, our airline videos viewers can take advantage of an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Enter promo code AVL to get up to six additional months of Surfshark VPN coverage for free. Just click on the link in the description and activate total peace of mind while surfing the web. Streaming your favorite show, buying airline tickets, and checking your bank account. Do it all without worry. And Surfshark is so sure you'll be satisfied, they offer a no-risk 30-day money-back guarantee. Just go to the link in the description and enter promo code AVL for your exclusive airline videos Black Friday deal. Up to six additional months of Surfshark VPN protection for free. Once the trucks are all loaded up, we get ready to go where few get to venture. On to the tarmac to see exactly how thousands of meals go from the kitchen to the galley. And this is no small task, especially with planes like the massive A380, which we are about to see up close. The A380 is actually the most complicated aircraft to cater. We're about to leave to cater an aircraft that goes to Incheon in Korea. That aircraft takes approximately 1,000 meals, 18 different main courses, and all sorts of appetizers and desserts and drinks and alcohol. We put everything on that plane. Maybe 50, 60 carts inside that truck. We have four trucks catering that one aircraft. These four trucks, that's one aircraft. The A380 is extremely high and you have to get very close to the wing. It's a very complicated operation. And because of that, the A380 has its own specially outfitted loading trucks. This truck goes 27 feet high. It serves the upper deck of an A380. Those trucks don't have that same uh, altitude, so they go to, on the lower deck of the A380. So aside from the complexity in food, you have a very complex transportation to the aircraft as well. Ready to go? Okay. We were definitely ready to go too. So currently we are driving out to the ramp area to load up an A380. A 
along the way, David gave us a little background on what it takes to become a Sky Chefs driver. Getting a, a driver qualified uh, to even approach an aircraft takes about six months. From being able to drive on the airfield, that's a whole LAX training. And then we have our own uh, trainings when it comes to actually approaching the aircraft. We haven't had any aircraft damages here in 25 years, and that's because most of our drivers have been here for 30 plus years. After a short drive, we make it to the A380 flight headed to Korea in just a few hours. Its size even more impressive this close. You'll see the guide men right now guiding the truck to the aircraft. That is one of the most important jobs anybody can have at the airport because you can see how close that truck gets to the wing of the aircraft. The drivers then begin positioning the hydraulic system before lifting the trucks high into the sky within just 10 inches of the aircraft. And by the way, you see all the other things that are happening at the same time? They're loading cargo, they're loading bags, fueling happening at the same time. It's a complicated operation, yes. Yeah. Once everything is in place, the actual loading of carts begins, a roughly two and a half hour process on the A380, helping make sure that hundreds of passengers won't go hungry on their long trek. From there, we head to an offer we couldn't refuse, the chance to ride along inside a truck as it loads an A321neo. After some initial preps are completed, we are guided inside, where Jose starts taking us step by step through the process. Now we're gonna race the truck, okay? We then begin to climb up the side of the A321. Once we've risen to the correct height, now turn it up. And we're reminded that safety is always the first priority. Always when you open the door. You have to move the handles because that's just saving your life. Jose then alerts the cabin crew that the food for their flight has arrived. Now the process of transferring hundreds of meals from the truck to the aircraft begins. Now you go your radio. You got your radio. You start your fly. Uh, 153 aircraft. Okay, 153, aircraft 454, and then you say you start. Okay? And then we start work. Jose starts by removing carts already on the plane. Stressful, you like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes to move all these carts. Decades of experience on display in impressive fashion. How many years have you been doing this? 37 years. We were left just trying to keep up. I gotta get out of his way. He's, he's working way too hard. I'm in his way, I'm in his way. Moving so fast. I mean, everything is timed, so they gotta move quick. Shower, shower, shower. Okay, fly. 1959. First class, the business is ready. But his work isn't done. Amazing! Everything that happens before a flight. These are definitely things you don't think about. You know, when you board your flight, how does the food get on? Jose then reminds us again. Don't do it. Don't take the car like this. Walking behind, yeah. you can follow down. So safety is yeah. Safety first. Yeah. Safety number one. Jose working very hard. Last thing he needs are some plane jockeys in his way. After an action-packed 20 minutes, Jose finishes loading this flight. Okay, now we close the door. Move back again. Fly 153, aircraft 454 is complete 153. We then lower back down to the ground. I don't know how you did it. How did you do that in 20 minutes? Oh my God, this is my, this is my job. It's your job, yeah. After carefully okay. exiting the truck. Careful, slowly. 
Jose makes sure everything is clear. Okay, everything is covered. Everything is, is 100%. We then head back to the Sky Chef's building to find out what happens to all those carts taken off the plane. And after that, we have a very special treat waiting for us. This is our dish room. So we have all the carts from the inbound flights. They come out of the trucks, come in here. Utensils, plates, trays, they all come through here. They go through what's just a giant dishwasher and come out the other side clean. People dry them. You know, it's just as washing dishes at home on a larger scale. It was now time for one of the definite highlights of the day. Hi, my name is Robert Bagley. I'm the executive chef here at LSG Sky Chefs. We get to taste some of the day's premier menu items presented by the executive chef himself. For some appetizers, we've got a salmon canapé and artichoke with prosciutto, cod with chive cream sauce. We have a beef filet with a bordelaise sauce. Here we've got a bibimbap. And last but not least, we have dessert. And these dishes are just a small sampling. Oh my gosh, we forgot the Cobb salad. Of a massive amount of food prepared every day here at LAX. 11,000 meals a day. 11,000 meals a day. Yes, that's more than I've ever done in any restaurant. As you can see here, a lot of care goes into the plating. Wow. This is a first class uh, BB Bop. This is business class. This is first class. These are business class as well. Once the presentation was done, it was time to dig in. Why don't you start with an appetizer first, Rudy? Ooh. Yeah. The salmon canopy. Prosciutto. Oh boy. Mm. But Rudy wasn't going to get the whole thing to himself. Mmm, that's good. I want to get on a plane. <laughs> like now. The BB Bop which is a Korean dish, was up next. This is something new to me. How am I doing here? All right, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. There's a little bit of a kick. You know, I'm not huge on spicy, but I, I can do this. I don't want to be greedy though. Let's dig in. <laughs> <laughs> on filet mignon, no problem. Mm -mm -mm. If I was sitting in first class right now, I'd be enjoying life. What a delicious way to end an amazing day with the people of Sky Chefs at LAX. Preparing five and a half million meals a year for 73,000 flights, Sky Chef's LAX facility showcases everything going on behind the scenes to bring fine dining to the skies.